San Francisco 49ers. Marty Schottenheimer, he has moved to Kansas City. Bud Carson is now the head man of the Cleveland Browns. Dan Henning, a former quarterback in San Diego, will coach the Chargers. And down at Big D, Jimmy Johnson has taken control of the Cowboy franchise. And Dick, and you were down in Dallas. How'd you find Jimmy this week? Well, Jimmy Johnson stresses fundamentals and enthusiasm. I saw a lot of both this week in Dallas. Yes, Jimmy is ready. Guaranteed. The Dallas picture is really more of a puzzle, made up of a new owner, a rookie coach, and not one, but two rookie quarterbacks. And the big question now is can the Cowboys put those pieces together and recapture that big D pride? The team finished the preseason on the right foot, beating Houston on a field goal in the final seconds. The Magic back in Dallas. And in the locker room afterwards, they wanted that magic to last forever. Now, winning the exhibition season is great, but it really doesn't count until this week. So we stopped by to see how the Cowboys are preparing for the first real test. Somebody get back on it. You're as late as I am. Coach Jimmy Johnson has been everywhere, doing everything, working nonstop to bring his hands-on style into the NFL. I think the Dallas Cowboys, in this situation, at this time, uh, needed some enthusiasm. Who's going to jump out here and do something good for us? Danny uh, Noonan! <laughs> Danny Noonan, jump out! <laughs> that's our style, that's our personality, and that's the only way I know how to coach. You're still gonna keep After practice, there are long hours and meetings with serious choices to make. Johnson has brought in many new faces to help, but make no mistake, he makes the tough calls. If it's made today, then I'd say he is out. I mean, we, he is out as far as us, you know, uh, us planning on him contributing at all. The biggest challenge before Johnson is getting his rookie quarterbacks up to speed. To do that, Johnson brought in offensive coordinator David Shuler from the Dolphins and longtime quarterback coach Jerry Rome to teach Walsh and Aikman the new language of the NFL. Weak safety up the gut with a nine blitz coverage. Now just remember, pass 117, if you're going to throw the quick pull, boy, you got to really get around fast. We're just a bunch of young babies trying to, trying to learn a man's game, and right now uh, you know, things have gone well for us, but we, also, we know there's going to be hard times, there's going to be good times, and we just got to stick together. We've got a lot of confidence. Uh, in our players, especially at quarterback. Uh, uh, I have no choice but to be confident. When you've got $14 million invested, you better be behind it or go home. For now, the game plan is back to basics, hard work, and a college spirit the Cowboys have never seen. I don't know what a normal NFL team does. Uh, you know, we're going into uncharted waters right now, and, and we're just coaching the way we always coach, and we're doing the things the way we've always done them. Hey, Dick, if uh, you were still playing, what would you show a rookie quarterback in his first start? Oh, I'd be licking my chops, roll up my sleeves, tell the trainer, get the oxygen ready, buddy, because I'm going to throw this, the book of blitzes at him. But you know something? Houston did that last week, and the kid beat him. So I went over to New Orleans, and I talked to Dom Capers, the secondary coach of the uh, Saints. I says, what are you going to do against this kid? And he just said that, well, we're going to try to confuse the kid, change the different lineups on defense. But i got to be concerned with their blitzes, because they have two cornerbacks that have one game's experience between the both of them. And plus, to top it all off, they got a guy number 34, Herschel Walker. They're going to have to stop him, too. <laughs> well, who do you like in this game, the Saints or the Cowboys? No, I like the Cowboys in an upset, Britt, and I'll tell you why. A lot of good reasons for it. First of all, the Saints haven't gotten in sync yet. But in order for, to get ready for this game, the Saints coaching staff took film from the Miami Hurricane. I'm going to talk about Miami University's uh, defense to take a look at that, to study that, because uh, the Cowboys' defensive staff is basically from Miami. And then they also took the Miami Dolphins' offensive film to get ready for that. So I think it, they don't know what they're going to see this afternoon. Well, Aikman, but, but they won't see Benny Blades, and they won't see Jerome. No, Hayes. that's right. <laughs> they're going to see Aikman. <laughs> Next up, Will McDonough with a report on uh, how the search for a new commissioner has turned the NFL into a house divided when we continue on CBS.